I'm Emily Antushik, and this is Consider It Mapped. This month, we're looking at measures of student poverty across the state, specifically the rates of free and reduced price lunch, or FRL, which has long been a proxy for school and LEA level need. Our first map shows the rates of FRL over time, starting in school years 2006-07 and going to 2013-14. One of the major takeaways as you change the date range is that the FRL rate has increased in almost every LEA across the state, in some cases significantly. This map also allows you to look at individual counties' reported FRL rates over time, while some LEAs like Rowan Salisbury show steady growth in percentages of students opting into the FRL program. Others, like Hyde, show varying rates over time. Our second map shows the most recent FRL rate map as compared to U.S. Census data measuring poverty related to student age groups. Thresholds that enable parents and guardians to opt their students into the FRL program are based on percentages of the poverty rate, and we wanted to examine how these measures stack up against the FRL rates. Though the numbers don't correspond between the two maps, some of the patterns of poverty, higher need in Eastern North Carolina, for instance, are present in the census maps. That said, the census data is not a direct substitute measure for school-based FRL. We're looking at the historical trajectory of FRL rates to set a baseline of how student poverty is measured. Last year, the state of North Carolina opted into a new national school lunch program that will change the way student need is calculated across the state. We're going to talk more about this in the coming months, so keep an eye out on ednc.org.